Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you another sparkling chess miniature. This game was played between Alexander Hofmann and Josef Richter in 1975 in Munich. But before starting our game first I want to share with you a chess puzzle. This is an easy one and I am sure that in a blink of a second you managed to find the winning move for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Back to our main board and now without further ado let's get started with this game and see what happened on the board. Hoffman opened up with e4 and Richter responded with Sicilian defense c5, knight c3, knight c6, g3. White is going for close Sicilian, meanwhile we have e6, bishop g2, knight f6, knight e2, d5, e takes d5, e takes d5, and d4, bishop g4, and d takes c5. Of course, well, white could also play bishop e3. This is a more ambitious try, a move which we found played against Anna Muzichuk in 2014, but in our game we have d takes c5 straight away, bishop takes c5, black got an isolated pawn, but of course there is nothing wrong with black's position. But the isolated pawn turned out to be so tempting that white decided to win it on the spot and played knight takes d5, a terrible mistake after which white's position collapses quickly, instead it was better to simply castle kingside, but in our game we have knight takes d5, and using the fact that this knight on e2 is pinned. Black played knight d4 and intensified the pin. White played knight takes f6 check. Well, if we move like knight c3, in order to strengthen the knight on e2, then this time black can play queen a5 and can pin the knight. If white castles king side, then rook d8 can be very unpleasant. The threat is knight takes e2 and it's not quite clear how is white going to save this position. White's position is totally lost. Or after queen a5, if bishop d2, then this time black can castle queen side. If h3, then knight f3 check is coming. And after the exchange on f3, castling king side, black has this rook e8 move and pins are all over the board. You know, if rook e1, this time queen b6. And black is winning. Let's go back, but in our game after knight d4 we have knight takes f6 check. Queen takes f6 and f3. A desperate attempt with which white wants to break up the pin, but it was in here that Richter shocked his opponent with a staggering move. You can pause the video and try to find black's next move. Ready? Well, look in here, even the simple knight takes f3 allows black to win the game, but after f3, Josef Richter captured on f3 with the queen. This is, of course, a more precise and a devastating continuation. You know, guys, right now, black wants to play queen takes g2, right? With his last move, black attacks white bishop. What's going on on the board, guys? White accepted the queen sacrifice, but the steps into a checkmate. Here comes knight takes f3 check, and after king f1, we have a brutal checkmate on the board. The three minor pieces are simply killing white king. What a final combination. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this miniature, share it with your friends. In the end, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.